I have been a big fan of the Sublime Text Editor uh, for quite some time now, and imagine my excitement when I found Fruition Partners' original Sublime Text plugin for ServiceNow that allowed me to edit uh, long scripts or UI pages in a Sublime Text Editor and then see that directly within ServiceNow. And then my joy was exceeded when Sal posted onto ServiceNow Share a solution that automatically added Sublime tags to fields or scripts within ServiceNow. Some of the problems that I ran into while using the Sublime Text uh, plugin for ServiceNow was that the original code only supported Pyth an older version of Python that was used on Sublime Text 2, and I wanted to move to Sublime Text 3. Another problem I saw is that if I were, was working with multiple people, somebody might change the server version, and then when I changed my code in Sublime, it would overwrite that server version. So I, I looked at improving uh, some of those scenarios that were pain points for me as I was using the Sublime Text plugin. So let me share with you the changes that I made in August 2015 to the Sublime uh, Text plugin. First of all, we'll go into any instance, uh, really. Uh, I updated the Sublime Text plugin so that it would use the JSON v2 interface to ServiceNow, which is enabled by default rather than the original JSON plugin. So really this should work with any of the later instances of ServiceNow. So let's say I'm going to create a new UI page. And this UI page I'll just call uh, Test Sublime. And let's just save that UI page. Now what I want to do is I want to edit this UI page within Sublime Text. Now, for this demo, I'm, I'm not going to show the share version uh, of the update set that allows you to automatically add the tags uh, to your field and just copy them over to Sublime. I'm just going to keep this uh, really simple. Uh, but So the first thing we'll need to do is we'll just copy this text here and open up a Sublime uh, text window. This is the latest version of Sublime text. No longer does it say Sublime text 2. So I'm going to go ahead and paste my UI page code right in here. And then the next thing I need to do is add the comment block for Sublime that tells it to reach out to ServiceNow. Now since this is an XML uh, field, I'm going to have XML comment blocks that start with these characters here and end with these characters here. Uh, but then I have the three lines of, of the parameters that I need in order to uh, reach out to my ServiceNow instance. As you'll recall, uh, you need this underscore underscore file URL parameter, and you put the full URL, the direct URL, to that record. So let's go ahead and grab the direct URL to that record. So I'm going to go to my record here, and I'm going to copy URL. Now, when I do it this way, I'm going to get a fancy wrapper uh, called nav underscore two dot do. What that's going to do is that opens up this record within the framed view of ServiceNow. We want, since we're going to be reaching out through web services, we want the direct uh, URL to that record rather than the framed view. So I'm just going to highlight this nav two dot do and the UI, URI parameter, and I'm going to delete that. And the result will be the direct URL to that record. Now I need to know what field it is that I'm saving this data to, so I'll go back to my UI page and I'll do, as an administrator I can right click on the HTML label and I can see that the database version is underscore HTML. Now if I were saving into the client script version I'd un I would want client underscore script, but we'll do the HTML version. So we'll jump back to our editor and make sure that this is HTML. And then for authentication we need to type in our username and password. So I'll type this in here as uh, John and that's the username, and the password might be uh, my pass. So you separate those two with a colon. Now all we have to do is save, and when we, when we save, it's going to reach out to the server at this URL using these credentials to save uh, my record. Now, obviously in this case, my authentication is incorrect. Um, so let's test to see what happens. In the old plugin, you didn't know anything happened and it just wouldn't be saved to the server. So you could keep coding and not realize that anything was going up to the ServiceNow instance. I've added some user-friendly dialogues that pop up if there are problems. So we'll go ahead and save and we need to give this a name. So we'll just name this uh, my sublime test. So as you see here, we got an error and it's an error 401. Well, that's an authentication error. So we'll click OK and we'll have to enter in the right credentials. Now I'm going, I already entered in the right credentials, I didn't want to show them here on the demo. Uh, but I didn't get an error and this, this will have saved. So now I can type in hello world and we'll hit save. 
Now if we go back to our browser, and if we reload the form, we'll see the hello world statement that I entered uh, come in there. Now, let's say that somebody else uh, comes in here and edits the version on the instance, and, and they added uh, two exclamation marks. Let's enlarge this for you. Let's say they added two exclamation marks. So we'll come back here, and let's say we add a period, and then we'll hit save. We don't know that they modified the, the server version. Now we're going to get a dialog pop-up that says this file is out of sync with the instance. Now we have two options. If we click cancel, we can go to the instance and see what the differences are. Now I say, ah, oh, you know, this isn't a very big difference. I want to go ahead and commit my version. So I'll go ahead and save it again. I'll get the same error, but if I press OK, it's going to overwrite the server version with my version. So if I go back to the server and reload this form, I'm going to see that my version uh, got pushed up to the server. So this really helps uh, usage of the Sublime Text plugin to be a little bit more reliable, you're, uh, to protect you against conflicts, to let you know if there were problems, and also now that it supports uh, Sublime Text 3, you can enjoy the latest enhancements and releases of Sublime Text uh, with your ServiceNow development.